Hello there everyone, UXW Bill here with you once again, and today I bring you UXW Bill's Goofy Gadget Corner. And I certainly won't be disappointing because this is one of the goofiest little gadgets that I have ever seen. What is this thing, you might be asking? Well, that's a very good question. This is not only a pencil sharpener, but also a letter opener. It is a combination device. does two things in one. And if I had to guess, probably does neither of them as well as standalone devices might. Though who needs a standalone electric letter opener? Well, I certainly don't know of anyone who does, although I suppose this thing was probably marketed to the executive who has every other manner of executive-related toy in their office. This is actually something that I rescued from my former workplace when an office was being cleaned out a couple of years ago. Someone threw this in the trash, and I happened to see it, being as I was the random stuff-doer in the office at the time. Certainly not my given position, but one that I ended up doing quite often. Not that I really minded. You know, the variety definitely kept things interesting. But I digress. At first I thought that this particular unit was manufactured by Panasonic. It certainly has a similar styling to some of their 1980s office products, such as pencil sharpeners. But in looking at it prior to making this video, I have discovered that I appear to be incorrect. The Panasonic brand name appears nowhere on this device. It does not have any sort of a model number. In fact, it would pretty much appear to be a random no-name product, probably from sometime in the 1980s, that was in fact manufactured in Hong Kong. And if we look at the bottom of this unit, you can see that it proudly proclaims that it is a two-in-one letter opener and pencil sharpener. It runs from batteries or you can operate it from an AC to DC power adapter of some sort. The only model, the only number of any kind that I have found on this thing is this UK number, which I suppose is some kind of a design registration, maybe even some kind of a patent number. This unit had been the victim of corroded batteries. Luckily, they hadn't gone too terribly far. And after a little bit of fiddling around, I can say that it is at least in suitable condition for demonstration. But before I go ahead and give you a demonstration, let's take a look at some of the things that are going on here. First, I'll go ahead and show you the pencil sharpener mechanism. This struck me as very interesting, as opposed to there being a proper sort of uh, metal grinding system in there, angular grinding. Uh, I don't know what the term for those is, but you'll find them in a lot of better quality pencil sharpeners. This just looks like a mechanized version of one of those cheap uh, couple of cents or less pencil sharpener devices that you operate by hand. It simply looks like they have attached it to one end of the motor's output. I would guess that it's probably driven by a belt or something along those lines. Probably a toothed belt to give it enough traction to actually do its job. And then there is the letter opener part. As you can see, you're actually meant to slide the envelope in sideways. This unit does not exactly have a surplus of horsepower available to it, although if you don't follow instructions and you run the envelope through it lengthwise as opposed to widthwise, it will actually do the job just fine. In fact, that's how I did it before I looked at the picture on top of the unit to see how it actually should be done. These two indentations, well, I can only guess that maybe they're meant to hold pencils that either need to be sharpened or are sharpened and ready for use. Despite this thing's rather cheap looking pencil sharpening mechanism, I can say that it appears to do an exceptional job of sharpening pencils, although the autofocus is definitely letting me down there. Now for those of you who are familiar with the uh, various live streams that myself and others do, you may have heard a name being bounced around a little bit, that of Stereo Dust Particles. Stereo Dust Particles was initially coined as a term to refer to dust particles on vinyl records that were producing uh, undesirable noises in both channels of an audio recording. Well, it didn't take too long after Centex Video, who is now known as Rocking Dustpan here on YouTube, had coined that particular term, that I and possibly a few others got to thinking, you know, that almost sounds like the name for a stereo equipment and electronics store. No sooner said than done, it was the stereo store with a whole lot more. An incredible number of absurd products, most of them combining functions that no one in their right mind would ever combine into a single device, and probably also doing neither of those functions particularly well. 
And that was the first thing that I thought of when I saw this thing a couple of years ago. And I knew that I just had to rescue it from the trash and make a video about it. So we'll go ahead and have a demonstration here. I'll go ahead and put the pencil in. It turns on automatically when you push down on it. And as you can see, it's uh, not the smoothest operation in the world. Of course, this pencil is already pretty sharp. But it actually does, it actually does manage to work pretty well. And then there's the envelope opening side of things, which is what I'm sure most of you have been waiting to see. So here we go. <laughs> Look at this, everybody. I sent myself a letter. Well, let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside here. And you would be well advised if you actually plan on using something like this to actually go ahead and give it a few taps in the downward direction on the side opposite of where you're planning to open the letter so you don't actually uh, accidentally tear into the contents of the envelope. But then you go ahead and you stick it in this thing. And, and this has to be seen to be believed. There it goes. And there's the little paper leaving. Yes, it actually, it actually does work. <laughs> so let's see what's in there. What did I send myself? Let me go ahead and take a look at this here. I'll open it upside down on video. Aha! It's a printer test page. Wowee! <laughs> it's a Windows 7 printer test page. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much all there is to this combination pencil sharpener and letter opener. So once again, this has been UXW Bill on UXW Bill's Goofy Gadgets Corner, signing off and eagerly awaiting your comments. Thank you, as always, for watching.